Deep Ellum, right in the middle of a major crime reduction overhaul tonight. One of the changes that took effect this evening, enforcing a teen curfew. Aaron Jones, tonight at Commerce Street, where officers and business owners are getting ready for a fairly busy night. What's going on? Doug, already we've seen several officers out here getting ready for what they believe will be a very busy night. DART officers also assisting them. On top of this, local bars are trying to do their part. This bar here behind me says they'll be playing classical music after 2 a.m. when they close down, trying to mellow out the crowd. They say after what they saw last weekend, this is definitely needed. Madness. If you come out at 2 o'clock leaving a place, it's madness. This video recorded on a cell phone Sunday just after 2 a.m. in Deep Ellum. <laughs> Susan Higgins says late at night and into the early morning hours, the entertainment district is no place for young teens. As there's a lot of alcohol that is being, you know, had and people are drinking and they're drunk and they shouldn't be drinking. So I don't think they need to be in that kind of environment. Dallas police agree. What they witnessed here last weekend prompted them to get the word out that they will enforce the teen curfew. Starting this weekend, those 16 and under out after midnight on weekends will initially receive a warning and told to go home. Multiple offenses could lead to a ticket. You know, it's for their protection as well. And sometimes when you get a group of Juveniles, they may encourage each other to do things they normally wouldn't do that aren't probably in their best interest. And it's definitely, um, yeah, a pretty sketchy place uh, for teens. If they're 16 years old and they want to be out here as long as they ain't causing trouble, what's the harm? On top of the teen curfew crackdown, rideshare zones are in operation. Uber and Lyft drivers asked to only pick up and drop off passengers in certain designated areas. The hope is to not hinder the flow of traffic. And just like teens breaking the curfew, those drivers who do not pick up and drop off in those designated areas could face a ticket. Live in Deep Ellum tonight, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News.